so in this video I'm going to show you how to weave in the end now it's it might be very straightforward for some of you but some people might just need to be shown so I have here a project that I'm working on and you can see I've got different colors wools so what I am going to do is I'm going to keep the same color in the same color so you're not going to weave in this color into there or that color into there so that makes sense hopefully so I'm using a sharp needle um, and I thread the needle onto the wool there we go okay and what I do then is I just <clears throat> I come from there so I make sure I sort of go in here somewhere and I keep going into those stitches there so this is the back of my work you won't see this at the front and I come out again and you pull gently on your wool now I go back a couple of stitches insert there and then do the same thing as before just following those stitches because then you make a little extra security there that's what I think of it any that's how I think of it anyway so I go back a bit and I always my mum always says you cut off such long ends but I'm just used to that kind of length and then you can do this sort of two three times and that's what I tend to do obviously it depends on the work how many stitches you have got and I just cut it off there and you can't see anything so this here is one of my alternative magic circles so I have to pull a little bit on the so I've threaded it on I'm going to the easiest thing for me to do is to put my thumb on it and then pull it slightly so you push down and you pull it so that will close up the little hole which I haven't got at the moment anyway and now I'm going to weave in my end again pulling and I don't know whether you've just noticed but my hole did get a little bit smaller then doing my security stepping back a couple of steps inserting there I was stepping back a couple of stitches of course and doing my little tug there so I go back to where I came from and insert and go on like that and that way I am securing my inside very well and you can't tell on the other side that I have been doing that and this way I just keep going I might even change direction as I've just done and then I just cut it off there and you can't tell so I've just got one more to do I don't do the last one because obviously I am going to use that to get started in a moment so let's just show you once again how I do this I know that some people even um, split their wool after a little um, after a couple of stitches so they would split it now and go into off into two directions but to be honest I don't I don't see the point of doing that I've not had anything come undone anyway so I think what I'm doing is fine okay there we go and that is all the e all the ends sewn in and this one of course you're going to continue working on that so I'm not going to sew that in just yet thank you for watching